Now, let's go to new releases because that I understand. Sure. Yeah. Um, I've been playing some of Hey Pikmin for the 3DS. Hey, so you got you got it for like 18 cents during that uh, Cyber Monday glitch or whatever it was. Prime Day. Uh, Prime. Yes. Optimus Prime Day. Yes, Prime Day. I got it for six dollars or so. I don't remember exactly what it was. Um, but yeah, I I played not that much of it. Maybe maybe an hour, maybe a little little bit more, a little less. Um, that that is a two D Pikmin game. It starts off really slow, I would say. Um, so you're controlling it. You don't use the the buttons at all to control it. It's all with the analog stick and the stylus. And it's kind of got a Yoshi's Island type of thing where you are flinging the Pikmin at objects. Um, so you're just like tapping on the screen where you want to throw a, a Pikmin at. And he goes and gets, I don't know, the the fruit or whatever you collect in Pikmin. Nuts. I don't... They're they look like nuts, maybe fruit. Pikmin nuts. Yeah, Pikmin nuts. Pikmin um, nuts. And it's got, like, the visuals are very cute, like you would expect a Pikmin game to be. Um, the There's a, various exploration options within a level, I would say, like secret areas. Um, it's just, it's a little bit slow. And I, I'm waiting for it to pick up. I don't know if it will pick up or if it's just going to be super chill. Um, I, I find that it's it's sometimes like I lose track of Pikmin that I don't realize I'm losing track of. And it, it, it like comes up on the screen and starts flashing red that you're going to like leave a Pikmin behind. But I don't know. It's it, But fuck those guys. Right, right. Like I don't... Uh, God, whatever. <laughs> I've got like 18 of you. I don't need the other two. Right. Um, and it, after you get out of the levels, it's got like a, a garden aspect where you can like clear the garden out by, I don't know, dispersing the, your different Pikmin out into the to the garden. I haven't really figured out what that gains me yet. But I, I know I did get to uh, to experience transferring all of my content from a 3ds xl to a new 3ds xl before i started playing this um because there's like a it's got amiibo functionality and so i was like well i'll go ahead and i've got this new 3ds xl that i have sitting over here that i've never set up just because i didn't want to go through the the process and yeah that's a pain um I had like 10 gigs worth of games or, or so to, to transfer. And so I went the route of doing it on, on a computer. Like you can take the SD card out of the 3DS. Oh yeah. And I, I remember what that. I remember hearing about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, but the new, the new 3DS is they use micro SD. So it's not like you can't just like pop an SD card out of one and stick it in the new one. You have to actually have two different cards, which I didn't realize. I mean, that, that's on me. I didn't research it uh, when I started doing the transfer. And I was like, oh, crap, I better order one of these from Amazon. Um, and so that came and I transferred all my stuff. Like I, I was on the Mac and I, I followed the instructions that were on Nintendo's website about, OK, you put the SD card in and you you just copy all the folders to the desktop. That's simple enough. And then you format the micro SD card by using this software that they point you to that's like on the the SD standards website, like whoever's in charge of SD cards. Um, and like, okay, I formatted that. I copied my files over. The new 3DS XL would not recognize them. Just like, nope, there's not a card there. So I, I try it again, I erase everything, reformat it, stick all my stuff on. Like and this takes quite a while to like copy ten gigs of uh, of stuff to a an SD card. And second time, no go. Then I'm like, okay, well I'll Google this and see if anybody else has, has anything to say. Turns out, um yeah, that, that tool that they point you to that Nintendo's 
website points you to on a Mac, specifically for a Mac, that they have pointed out, go use this, does not f- format the memory cards in the right format to use on the new 3DS XL. Mm, classic so Nintendo. Instead, you can just go into your finder on your Mac and say, format this as X fat or whatever, and then it worked perfectly fine. So super easy as always, Nintendo. To, <laughs> Nailed it. Yeah, to, to really transfer all my games and make sure everything's working right. But Sweet. <laughs> um, also out for the 3DS was uh, Metopia. Um, that was a game I missed on Prime Day. I know that was a super cheap one as well. I, I think these were their two big launch games for that new 2DS XL that came out. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. I saw um, a commercial for that today. Okay. I, I've With seen Apic plenty Man. of them in the stores. Doesn't so. surprise me. Um, I'm sure she, uh, they look cool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they are cool. What could be, what could be bad? Uh, the transfer process, if you have. Other than that, yeah, I know. I've, I've actually gone through it, too. It sucks. <laughs> um, for the Switch, staying on the Nintendo side, uh, Namco Museum came out. Now that's digital only, right? Um, is it? Yeah, it's it, a, yeah, it's just digital, digital only. Okay. Which uh, is kind of a bummer. I mean, I, not that thirty dollars is so much, but to have it on it's the card games. for it's kind of, I don't know, it's a bit much. Twenty bucks for eleven games that I could play on the go. I might be tempted, but twenty nine is a no go. Fifteen is like the the money price right there. Overcooked also came out. Yes, which apparently is 20 bucks. it currently has some frame rate issues. Yeah, they're supposedly fixing it, but it's a great game. Play it yep. anywhere. That would be good. Anything else? Uh, um, Patapon. Yeah, Patapon remastered. I didn't play that, but um. That's out for PS4. Who's spending fourteen dollars to play Pad Upon now? Fifteen dollars. Fifteen. More. They're cute. I mean, it's been long enough that that is completely new to people. I guess. No, it, it's a fact. I um, know. <laughs> the uh, I have Excuse been playing me. a semantics man. Well, what have you been playing? That's what they've been calling me. Um, I've been playing a little of this. Area, area. Um, <laughs> it's uh, on PlayStation Four. It's a cooperative, top-down type of game where the characters. I mean, it's basically like a Diablo gauntlet type thing, and the characters have musical instruments as their weapons. But for the most part, you're still like using magic and bows and arrows, that type of stuff. Um. Mrs. Shipwreck and I were just looking for a co-op game to to play, so we picked this up. And not that far into it so far, but my one complaint is that the text is super small. Um, This is one of those games where maybe it's out for PC as well. I'm not sure, but it is. The font size is not properly sized for, uh, for HDTVs. Right. Um, and that caused Mrs. Shipwreck to fall asleep while we were playing because I was having to read everything to her because she um, had gone to the eye doctor that day and her, like, had her glasses on and her vision wasn't where it normally is. But I don't know. It's a co-op game. There's not a whole lot of those out there. So Yeah, it looks like uh, Baldur's Gate, Dark Alliance yeah, or whatever. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that type of thing. Um, cool. We'll dig into it and see if it's if it's any good or not, but it it seems promising. Cool. Yep. Anything else? And that is it. I, there's a Vita game. A Vita game came out. I think we're good. Whoop whoop whoop. 